Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot um, on a Windows computer as well as a Chromebook um, that's taking a picture of your current desktop to be able to share what you're seeing. And then I'm going to show you how to insert it into a uh, Google Slides. Now for my classes, um, I provide them a template. So if you're in my class, please open up your blog template. I would like you to, uh, to go to the topics in the blog and realize we're on the make 3D models. So we're going in order um, and go down to make 3D models. Now, if you're not um, in my class, I will share this template with you. Um, it'll be in the description below. You're more than welcome to use it. I think it's an awesome way of organizing all the things that you're learning. And if you're going in order with me, or at least going through the topics, you'll have a, a really, really cool way of sharing all the things that you've learned. Um, any changes I make to this template, I delete them right afterwards so no one else um, gets my work and you can fill it with your work. So you'll see it says make 3D models and we're gonna take a screenshot. It says you should have a description and a screenshot of what you created. So if you're in my class or you're following along, what I'd like you to do is on this slide, I'd like you to write a description of what you did in Tinkercad, just a little bit. And then I want you to open up your Tinkercad. You're going to log in. I want you to choose your the best one that you created, okay? The best, the coolest thing that you're proud of sharing. So for instance, maybe I really, really like this. Um, this is for my radio station, uh, and it shows a really good picture of it. If yours isn't showing a nice picture, uh, you know, a bad angle or whatever, you uh, you can click View in 3D. All right, now you could click Tinker this as well, and it'll go back so you can edit it. Um, but I, I would like you to get a, a decent view of what you've created. I think it was actually pretty cool how it was showing it originally. So get a view that you like. Then what I want you to do, I want you to take a screenshot. Now, the way we're going to take a screenshot, if you are on a Windows-based computer, you're going to press the Windows button, which is the picture of the window. It's the four squares. You're going to press Shift at the same time and then S as in Sam, Sierra, okay, S. So Windows Shift S. If you are on a Chromebook, we're going to press Control Shift and then this window switcher button at the same time. Now you're going to see what happens. Let me switch back when I press those buttons. So I'm using Windows, so it's Windows Shift S. If you're on a Chromebook, push those keys and you'll see that the screen turns gray. When the screen turns gray, what you can do is you can draw a box over what you would like to copy. Now me, I just, I want you to copy just what you've created. You're showing your work. So I draw my box around it and I let go. Now, if you're on a Chromebook, um, if you're not running your uh, your browser in full screen, what's going to happen is there's going to be a pop-up either, either in the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner. And you have an option of copying it to your clipboard. That'll save you some time. So if, you, if you're on a Chromebook, choose copy to clipboard. If you miss it, it's not a big deal. We'll find it again. Now go back to your slide. I don't want you to have your text box uh, highlighted because what happens is we're going to be pasting and a lot of the times if you paste while your text box is highlighted, it will actually replace the text box. So I want you to click on the slide but not on the text box. Nothing should be highlighted here. I clicked on the slide and now I'm going to paste. Now you can paste multiple ways. I prefer pressing control V as in Victor. Um, control V will paste. You can also right click with your mouse or you can click with two fingers on your mouse pad on the Chromebook and then you're going to choose paste. Now if you press control V, it'll just paste it. Now if you do that and your screenshot pops up, it's perfect. You're good. You're all set. Resize it. Make it look good. Now some of you, that did not work. Um, that's okay. What I want you to do is you're going to go up to insert image upload from computer. Once you do that, it's going to open up a new window. And on the left side, you're going to choose recent. And then you will see a list of all your screenshots that you've taken. And you're just going to choose the most recent screenshot and it will insert it. If you're in my class, if you've written the description and have your picture, you're all done. That's how you're turning in this. Do not turn in the blog. Do not turn it in yet. You will turn that in at the end of the trimester. If you are um, not in my class, hopefully this helped. 
Uh, hopefully it helped everyone watching it. And uh, yeah, if, if you need any help, feel free to ask uh, in the comment section below and have a great day. Wash your hands, 20 seconds.